The alarmists insist that the so-called carbon cycle was in balance until we came along with our dirty smokestacks and ruined everything. To call the environment resilient and dynamic is not to say that we can afford to do just anything, like dump paint into the lake. We need to be concerned particularly about weird chemicals not found in nature. But CO2 isn't one of those. One of the th tricks to which the alarmists have recently resorted is calling CO2 carbon pollution. But saying it doesn't make it so. For decades, organizations like the United States Environmental Protection Agency have been trying to make cars so clean that only two things come out of their tailpipes, water vapor and CO2. When I listen to the news, I keep hearing about carbon pollution, you know. Uh, what they really mean is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. So that sticks in my crawl because every human being uh, breathes out carbon dioxide. If it's a pollutant, then we're all polluters. You typically breathe out about two pounds of carbon dioxide a day. It's a lot of CO2. And you multiply by the number of people in the world, seven billion people, there's a lot. Carbon dioxide is actually uh, completely natural. It's just like water vapor. It's something that the Earth needs, plants need. They don't have enough compared to, you know, geological averages. Uh, and then, you know, the degree of scientific illiteracy is discouraging. I remember once testifying uh, uh, in Congress and one of the congressmen, a very nice man, represented a uh, suburban district in St. Louis, uh, a Democrat, and he said, uh, well, Dr. Happer, I just can't believe that uh, you say that carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. You know, is it, would you really go into your garage and shut the door and turn on your automobile engine and sit there and breathe all that stuff? And I said, well, no, you have to understand you're talking about carbon monoxide. That's different from carbon dioxide. They're, they're two different molecules. And uh, he says, really? See, and I'm not blaming him. It's a, an indictment of our school system. So I, I think it's been much easier for the alarmists to uh, uh, deceive uh, the public because the public doesn't know much science. Nobody disputes that enormous quantities of CO2 are cycled between the atmosphere, the oceans, and the land every year, or that human production of CO2 only accounts for about 5% of the natural cycle. And yet you can find chart after chart online, revealingly disagreeing about the numbers, but all insisting on the central fact that although natural CO2 is absorbed and released as part of this wonderful dynamic cycle of nature, ours is not. There's something wrong with ours. It smells bad. It tastes bad. It's the processed cheese of CO2 and nature simply can't absorb it. And again, this is not science. Nobody ever explains how a plant knows the difference. Human activities emit about 36 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year. The majority comes from burning fossil energy and industrial processes. About half of the carbon dioxide pollution is soaked up by lands and forests, land sink, or by the oceans, ocean sink. The rest, about 16 billion tons each year, accumulates in the atmosphere. There is no convenient hole in the sky for it to escape through. You know who said that? Right, the Prince of Wales in the same book. Isn't he reading his own stuff? And I've mentioned before that when journalists take their eye off the global warming ball, they very frequently report findings that are incompatible with various aspects of the alarmist thesis, including that we have any kind of detailed scientific understanding of what's going on on the Earth. And here is one of these. Even with billions of trees being cut down every year, a new study estimates there are seven and a half times more trees on Earth than previously believed. 3.04 trillion to be precise, or roughly 422 trees per person. Now, if increasing the number of trees, those big wooden things that absorb carbon dioxide as they grow, by a factor of seven and a half doesn't affect your model, it's because your model has no relationship to reality.